Those, anyone who's 17 in the room, give me a cheer. <laughs> Loads of you, and any of those, any of those blokes, because you're the ones that are going to have the problem, right? Because you're about to choose your first car, right? Now, I don't even care if you've been working since the age of 14 in a Saturday job and saved up every penny for yourself, right, to pay for that car. If the alpha male is around, just let him buy it. Have no input. Don't even comment. Everything will be a test, right? Because whatever you buy, whatever you choose, will be a pile of shit, death trap, waste of money. <laughs> <Should> I... <laughs> my dad said when he saw my Vauxhall Corsa, right, he walked up to it and went, you'll die in that. And walked up. <laughs> Total of you, you'll die in it. Even managing to be racist about cars. WTF, right? He said, do not bring jack crap onto my driveway. I will not repair crap and ease. Crap and ease. I will not repair crap and ease shit. Because he's got his man's vehicles, isn't he? The white van, the transit full of tall schwafiga rivets, yeah? Spanners. What's the difference between a Phillips and a slot? I don't know, Papa. Get out of my house, is one of them. Right? Slot Phillips, slot Phillips, slot Phillips. <laughs> Got the white van, powered by diesel, of course. What else would it be powered by? Diesel is the fuel of men. <laughs> and then eventually, eventually, after years of manual labour, hard work and saving, he gets the dream car, the black diesel automatic Mercedes, right? What, bought on credit? Don't be ridiculous, rely on no one. Save for years until all pleasure is removed from the future purchase. <laughs> Only then are you ready to buy the thing and fucking hate it because you had to save for it. <laughs> broke me, you broke me, right? That diesel, of course, uh, it even sounds like diesel, my dad. Uh, I bet if my mum has any sex toys, they're probably powered by diesel. <laughs> Julie will burn no fuel. <laughs> and uh, even so, he sounds like uh, when he's formulating his next right wing thought. Uh, <laughs> the Polish go home. Right? <laughs> and I choose the car that's caused the biggest arguments ever the Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius. Look at the intake of breath from some of the Garys and Daves in the room, yeah? <laughs> They're fucking waste of money, load of shit. Right? <laughs> What harm am I doing anyone? I, you can be as angry as you like about green taxes if you don't believe in climate change. Fair play, you've got a point. I'm doing no one any harm if I want to waste my money on a half electric, half petrol car and drive to the airport five times a year, fly to Australia. But look, I'm going home in my hybrid, right? <laughs> At worst, I'm a hypocrite, but the anger it draws from my dad, why do you want to drive that shit? Boy, you're a comedian. You can have anything you want for the birds and impress them. And you drive a car, it's... Not only is it half petrol, right? That alone is Glee box set enough, right? <laughs> yeah? But it's half electric. The noise it used to make when I drove off from Sunday lunch, even that would have been, see you next week for Sunday lunch, Papa. <laughs> That's my fucking boy in there. That's my boy in there. Yeah? Why don't you have Liza Minnelli hanging out the exhaust? Get it over with. <laughs> Are there any Prius drivers in the room, any? Look, no, they won't put their hands up. I can't just think of the planet and the energy I'd be using. Like, stop the car, look, a daisy grows. Look. Uh, wait, here's a tram. Suckle from me. Suckle from me. Uh, and uh, I crashed it. I, I'm surprised the insurance isn't free on the Toyota Prius. We're so boring. Just drive on, you won't crash, it's impossible. I did, 70 miles an hour. Bang, now, if I'd not had my Belkin rubber sheath on my iPhone, I might not be here. Right? <laughs> and uh, I, was on, I was on the hard shoulder. Called my mum straight away. You're right, Russ, let us know you're okay. You're coming, gets casual, you call me the next. Nothing from my dad, nothing. Not even, not even a text message. Right, maybe you couldn't manage it with primordial stumps. <laughs> 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 Age, just stop texting. Why? What's wrong with you? It's because we can't spell. Right? Right? Dreddy turning up in courtesy car. The courtesy car was a purple Nissan Micra. This did not help. If he wants to think it, I just play to it now. I dropped my keys. Sorry, Daddy. And I... Right? Nothing. And do you know the weirdest thing of all, guy? He was waiting at the front of the property, Garrett. He's waiting like that. He was waiting to greet me. He didn't know what time exactly I was arriving. Those of you that grew up with a dad like mine, if you are now an adult, count, you will need one hand the amount of times the alpha comes out of the nest to greet you upon arrival. It does not happen. You, my mum comes out, you must go inside to seek out the alpha, in study or garden or office, often with his silverback facing you as you approach like that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
You have to chuck a poo to show he's dominant. <laughs> Not this time, though. He was there, chest facing me, waiting to greet me. The out and I like, this is bad, because it was mock. It was mock love. I could see the smile on his face. He's pre-prepared what he wanted to say. He'd probably been thinking about it since Thursday. Right, and uh, it's Sunday, and I go out of the car. Hey, Dad, just turn that techno off. Oh, my God. Woo! He was in this sort of, you know, like, Boise Superman position, like that. First noise was a laugh, like a machine gun. Ha, 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 like that. Ha, ha, right? I swear to God, this is what he came out of. He must have been preparing it for about three days. He just said this, turned around, and went straight into the hallway. Ha, 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 crashed the Toyota Prius. Yes, Dad. Well, it's zero emissions now, isn't it, boy? <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> went abroad to Australia. You know, I got, flo got to fly first class for the first time, right? It's, it's, just, it's unbelievable, guys. Anyone flown first or business, it's better than you can freaking imagine. And there's an unlimited buffet. That's the thing that shocked me when I've walked in. Tray of unlimited food, a table of it, oh, poof, like that. It's just, what's the thought of most people in this room when you see a buffet? And I'm not talking about Iceland prawn rings here, right? I'm talking about, <laughs> this is champagne caviar. This is the works, first class, as much as you can get down you. Everyone in this room is thinking, nick it, nick it, fill the pockets. <laughs> right? But you can't. You're about to get on a plane. My old man, Dad's trained me and James, my brother. He trained us on all-you-can-eat Chinese. We were trained on that. Because of my energy levels, I've always been able to eat a freakish amount of food. So and I've always looked young for my age. So when I was 12, I was tiny, but I could eat a man's meal. The pride on my dad's face that I could do him over for the 7.95 child's price. <laughs> he used to make me stretch in the garden. Stretch, boy. Fucking stretch. Stretch. <laughs> I'll show that prick children's prices. We'll do them right over. <laughs> Look at it, here comes the prawn crackers. No, thank you, mate. We're not fucking idiots. No, thank you. <laughs> <Huh? Huh? laughs> so I've got all that going through my mind. It's all the all-you-can-eat uh, buffet. And I think, I've got one option here. I've got to call. I've got to call my mum and share it with her. I can't yet afford to do ridiculous things like that. I can't fly my mum to Australia. I can't afford it. So I've got my mum up on the old, uh, on the laptop. Bling, like that. The, um, it's because I've taught that's one of our recent Lovely three days we've spent together was teaching my mum how to use a laptop from scratch. Anyone else <laughs> had that <laughs> joyous experience, right? <laughs> Most middle-aged ladies in this room, if you can use a computer, you've been taught by the generation of Hardly any middle-aged men wasn't invented when I was young, doesn't count, right? <laughs> Clearly, it's not important if it didn't exist when I was in my prime, right? And women, I want to learn it. Helena's on the internet and Lynn. Helena and Lynn, Lynn and Helena. Right? I want to learn it, right? And uh, so I bought my mum a laptop. She cried with happiness because it was mean present. Mean, mean present. I can't believe you got me a laptop. And I, listen, I'm not a violent man at all, Harry, right? It's, I'm a gentle, silly human being. That's why I've got into theatre. However, those three days where I <laughs> stay low to teach mum laptop through on button, internet, Facebook, Twitter, as she still calls it, Twitter. <laughs> right? Right? It's the closest I've ever come to closing my fist, right? <laughs> and unleashing a punch so powerful into the side of someone's head. You know, you know so that it detaches without any blood, like in a, in a kung fu movie. Ding, ding. Still with the same expression on her face. What does a space bar put into a document? <laughs> space bitch! <laughs> What did you think it was a semicolon kicking the torso afterwards? <laughs> so I did it. I'm in first class. I'm fine. Taught my mum how to use Skype. She's on the old Skype and everything. Get me on Skype, Russ, or Skype, she called and get me on the Skype, right? <laughs> Open it up. And there's my mum with her eye right against the webcam. Russ! <laughs> like I'm in it. Like I'm in it. Someone shrunk my son. He's in there. He's tiny. <laughs> Like I was a little computer man. Mommy, help me. Mommy. I've become data, mommy. <laughs> back up, mum, back up. And uh, she, uh, she backed away from it. You know, like when a rainforest villager has seen, <laughs> seen a tractor for the first time, like that. <laughs> huh? My mum's like, Russ, Russ, show us. What's worst class like? This is the chaviest. Thing, or most endearing, depending on where you come from. I didn't know how to put it into words. So with everyone else in first class looking on at a table they'd barely noticed, I just flipped my computer around and Skyped the entire buffet to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> go back, go back. Go back, go back. Go back.
Go back. She's like, go back, go back, go back. Elaine, Elaine, get over here. The fucker has got unlimited salmon. Unlimited. 